hey what's up guys today i'm going to show you seven effects ideas using plugins in photoshop if you want more plugins tutorial kindly subscribe and like this video also watch my previous video on the best plugin to use in photoshop 2024 let's get started so okay guys so the first uh, effect ideas is the chromatic abrasion and okay so we're going to use this photo over here so always make sure you have a duplicate ctrl j then you go to and we're going to be using the boris optics to achieve this effect so let's go to the filter option then you go to your boris fx then you go to optics if you open it for the first it's going to ask you to, if you open it for the first time it's going to ask you to apply your previous changes or max you just click on no then you go to your lens dist distortion now let's let's go to your lens distortion then go to chromatic abrasion and uh, you can choose a, a whole lot of presets here to apply your chromatic abrasion so let me make this option here before and after over here to see the changes so okay you've been seeing this type of looks on instagram or on any other platform and this is how to achieve it so you just take click on any of the preset over here then it's going to give you that effect you can also go to the option over here to make your settings you can choose the settings you want so now let's take this and let's try making some changes so you can try making some changes over here or you can choose to select any preset you have over here and it's going to give you the before and after so this is the before and the after over here so this a uh, quick way to add chromatic abrasion that's rgb split effects on your images so boris optics have preset that you can choose to give you this chromatic abrasion so once you select any of these presets and you're okay with the preset and come to the parameter option here and you can also add just some settings over here so if you're okay you just click on apply and it's going to take you back into photoshop and it's going to apply your effect okay let's try and use another image so i have this edit over here i made this edit uh last year and we're going to add the chromatic abrasion so now we'll go to our option over here make sure you make a duplicate now let's go to the filter option and let's go to boris fx then go to optics so click on no then we'll go to your lens this lens and distort option here then we'll go to chromatic abrasion then we'll try and look for so i'll choose this then i'll go to this option here and make some adjustment here let's try and make some adjustments okay so now let's check on a before and after over here so i'll select this option here so you can see from the before and after you can see from the before and after so just click on apply and it's going to take you back into photoshop so this is a quick way to add a uh, chromatic abrasion to your images use this plugin now let's go to the number two or the second effect ideas so okay now, now, now the second effect ideas is adding glows to your images or your test so i have my test over here and I just converted it into a smart filter so that i can look at so this man test over here i just converted into a smart filter so that i can later adjust any settings i want so now i'll just go i'll go to my filter option again i'll go to my boris effects i'll go to optics i'll click on no then we'll look for our light option then we'll find ultra glow so this is ultra glow this also gives your test or your images some type of glow so we have also preset here you can select you can choose the type of glow you want you also have a, a, the parameters option here that you can adjust any setting you want like the brightness you can change the color the threshold will glow fall off all these things are here for you to just put your hands on or try your hands on so that you can give your test or your images that glow look so let me try and select one preset so i'll go for the default preset i'm going to click on apply and it 
is going to take me back into photoshop so here i can also try and change the blend mode and see the one i prefer so just go for uh this blend mode hard light and i can use it in my edits i can go back since this is a smart filter can click inside and change the color of the test and if i save it it's going to apply that changes so now you can see the changes over here so i can also go back into my boris optics and choose another preset and it's going to apply it again when i save it so now let's go back into our light then we'll go back to your ultra glow then this time around i'll go for this look okay let me go for this look okay let's see okay go for this look and increase the brightness then let me increase the decrease the threshold and let me click on apply and this really applied the glow to the test and you can not only use the ultra glow on text you can also use it on images so this an image i have, I have over here then I'm, I'm just trying to add some glow let's resize it so now the same thing we're going to go to your filter option but make sure you duplicate or you convert it into a smart filter then you go to your filter option then you go to the boris fx then you go to your optics so now you just go to the light option if you don't if it's on color just go on light then you go to the side here then you go to ultra glow and it's going to add some cool looking glow to your image over here so let's let's let, let me make the before and after so the before and after over here so as you can see the before and after before and after you can adjust the glow so now let's go to the side here then let's put down the brightness and glow fall off you can choose a whole lot of presets so have some here you can just choose the one you desire and just use it in your edit so i think this also looks cool let me see the before and after this really looks cool then you can also increase the brightness yes then you just click on apply and right now we have our cool looking glow on our car here and our lights here also so this also a good idea or an effect idea you can implicate in your edit or in your graphics or any type of project you are doing so this is how to add glow to your test or your images using boris optics now let's go to the number three number three is to add this ripple effects or reflection to your images so this is what we'll do this my image here I'll make a quick selection of my subject Control J to duplicate the subject then we'll go to our Boris Optics again filter option Boris FX Optics so in Boris Optics we'll look for the lens and distort then we'll look for the S underscore warp paddle so you choose this this is going to give you that report effect that you guys can use in your edit to create reflection of like water or waves so this is the effect you get when you click on the face we have the distorted reality dream portal and a whole lot so i'll go to a default then you have the settings here you can adjust like the the real height so this is the real height and you can adjust this so i'll just adjust this like this or you can use option here so i bring it this just down here then i'll adjust so you can choose to adjust the center here you can use the then we'll just then we'll just increase the size then we'll increase the metal one also here then we'll just click on apply and we have this since we made a selection we'll just turn it on and we'll just get the so delete this then you just get your brush then you just clean away this option here 
so let's go now with this and so you can you guys can try your hands on you just have a whole lot of settings you guys can tweak to make this edit looks cool so and then the fourth effect idea on the list is the s swap waves 2 and this is actually like the s swap paddle but it also gives you that wavy look but you can also use this uh, effect to create a whole lot of uh, backgrounds or backgrounds for your edit or for your motion graphics so this is what i'm gonna do so i have this image here then i'll convert it into a smart filter or you make a duplicate and you go to back into your filter option boris fx optics okay so in boris optics uh so this is what you do if you are not, you have not if you are in other filter option go to your lens and distort and look for the s underscore web waves too so this option so if you select it this is how your image is going to be looking you have preset here you can choose from but what i like to do is to just choose the default and i'll go to the amplitude or the parameter right here go to the a waves then i'll just punch it and choose this also and with this you can just create cool looking backgrounds for your edit or for your graphics works you can choose to change the angle you can split angle and this is going to even create more cool looking backgrounds for your edits you can change the face that try your hand on this adjustment here just to look at the effect it's going to give you then you just save it so this created this cool looking background so i can use this background in my graphic design works i can use this in making my flyer my my motion even my motion graphics so you you can try your hands on let's try the z distance so so if i'm okay with this look i can just click on apply it's going to take me back into photoshop i can save this as a background or a texture that i can use in my edits or in my graphics design and you have preset here that you can choose from you can also use this for a cool edit this type of distort looks you can also use it for a cool type of edit or manipulation but i can also use it in creating backgrounds for my edits so guys try hands on so let let me choose this let me adjust this settings here then i'm going to click on apply let me go to my go to click on apply it's going to take me into photoshop and right now i have this cool looking texture here that i can even use in my edits or in other graphic design works that i want to use so now the fifth effect idea is creating animal fur or a skin of animals in photoshop using this cool plugin called alien skin eye candy so this is my background this is just a solid color a new layer with a solid color then i'll we'll just convert it into a smart filter so later can adjust any settings we want so now let's go to the filter option go to your alien skin and find your eye candy 7 so here we have option tons of options here then we we'll just choose the animal fur here and we we'll have this cool looking texture of an animal fur here you have tons of presets here you can choose from different types of the animal skin that you can choose from so now let me choose giraffe so top dog let me look for zebra i have the zebra here so this is just a cool plugin you guys can use in generating some texture or some cool looking animal skin textures if you want to use in your edit so we are not done yet you have things certainly here you can adjust have the sparkle here you can either turn it off or you can add some little bit of sparkle here you can increase the spacing of the pattern you can make it smaller or you can even make it more larger you can the spot size too you can either make it smaller or bigger and you can choose the top dog to also have this texture over here 
can also try and change the color if you try you have the two colors here the black spot and the white spot so you can choose the one you want and if you're done you just click on ok it's going to take you back into photoshop and right now you have your cool looking texture ready for your edits so any moment you decide to make some changes since we converted into a smart filter you just go back to your eye candy double click and it's going to take you back into the plugin and you can change the texture you want let's go to jaguar we we'll have the jaguar here you can choose to delete the speckle or you add and now let's pin this and we we'll just click on ok and we're going to make that changes to this and you can now use this texture in your edit so now the six effect ideas is creating reptiles skin this is reptile so this is the same way we do so we'll also make a solid color create a new layer fill it with any color we want let's go to create a new layer and then let's go to edit fill background then we convert it into a smart filter now let's go to your filter option then we'll go to our alien skin and i can be seven so now this time around we're going to just choose a reptile skin and we'll have reptiles different reptile skin texture here so now let's go for the crocodile skin and we'll have the crocodile skin here and on your right side too we have settings you guys can adjust so if you're looking at this this is really detailed skin you can choose the color you can choose to take this type of color here and you click on ok and it's going to apply that color here you can choose the surface height you can shrink the bumps or you can even increase it and you can also flatten it you can also add lighting to so you can choose where the light is supposed to be so you can try your hands here you can increase the highlight or the brightness and this is really detailed texture if if you don't like it you can also choose the lizard skin texture you have the snake brown texture here so you can use this texture in making your photo manipulations or your design or anything that you guys really need texture of any animal you can generate this texture in this plugin and you can use it in your edit and if you are also cool with this you just click on ok and it's going to take you back into photoshop and now you have this here you can so now let's go to the seventh effect idea we really need to tackle on so the seventh effect idea is creating metals or metal texture in photoshop using plugins now also as the name goes also create a new layer then you fill it with the background then always don't forget to convert it into a smart filter then you go to your photo option alien skin i can the seven then this time around we just go to a brush metal here and we have this cool looking metal texture here so you can go to your type of texture you desire so if you need this type of metal texture in your edit this is where you can generate this type of metal and you can adjust the orientation you can choose the color you desire so i'll just go for something very dark your edit you can use it in texturing your images your 3d your any type of thing that you want to use this texture for just generate it and you can use it so let me take you to the last step is creating 3ds or, or let's say let's say 3d fake 3ds in photoshop so this is what you do you just drag fill it create a new layer you just go and just fill it with any color so i'll choose this color here then also convert it into a smart filter then you just go back into the alien skin eye candy so here you go to this option here called extrude then you can extrude your 3d 
sorry i took so now let's change here to black and you can see i uh, just go to my 3d you can extrude it if you're down you can click you can check the settings here always try and manipulate the settings here you can just click on ok and it's going to give me the 3d and now i can generate texture and just texture the shapes the part of the shapes and use it in my edit so guys this is just a quick one i'm showing you the seven effects ideas you guys can use in your edit so if you're new here kindly subscribe if you're old here share give me a comment let me know in the comment section what you need then i'll try and make a video so join my telegram group and my whatsapp channel i'll be giving you updates and tell me what plugin you desire and i'll try and get it for you so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace